Hey guys, in this video we're going to be looking at how to flash a factory image on a Nexus device but this time without losing all your data, so keeping all your apps, home screens and all your settings intact. I currently have all my apps on here running the stock ROM. If you're on a custom ROM, check the description for more info. I do have root and exposed framework and I've also modified some system files as well, so an over the air update would just be out of the question, it would give me an error if I tried to flash it. For this to work you will need an unlocked bootloader but you don't need root or a custom recovery. So Android 4.4.4 has just been released, I'm currently on 4.4.3 so I will be doing this right here with you guys. So yeah, let's head over to the computer. So normally when a new Android version comes out, I like to wipe everything and start afresh, but 4.4.4 isn't a huge update, mainly security fixes, so installing all my apps and modules seems long-winded. So the first step is to head over to the Factory Images website, just simply type Factory Images in Google and it'll be the first link. Then you want to download the latest Factory Image for your device. So I've got the Nexus 5, so that's one I'm going to be choosing, but it is available for the Nexus 4, 7 and 10. So simply click the link, it'll start downloading and you'll be left with a zipped file. I've already actually downloaded it, so I'm not going to do it right now. There it is, it's on my desktop. So we do want to extract this. I'm using WinRAR, but you can use any program like 7-Zip or anything like that. So we'll extract this to the desktop, it shouldn't take too long. And once that's done, you should be left with the extracted folder in whatever directory you chose. I chose the desktop, so we'll close WinRAR and there it is. So we'll just double tap into this so we can see the bootloader and the radio and pretty much everything else is in the zip folder. So things like the boot image, system image and recovery is in here. If you don't actually want to flash the recovery, you can actually double click into this and remove it. I'm not going to do that. I want everything to just be up to date. So I'm just going to leave that in there and we're just not going to wipe the data. But that is an option if you want it to be. And what you want to do now is find the flash all dot bat file. Now if it doesn't say dot bat for you, that's just because my computer is showing extensions, but the file will be there. So just go ahead and look for the icon or look for the type. So now you actually want to edit that file. So right click it and hit edit. It should open up in the notepad. And all we're looking for in here is minus W because that minus W is the part that actually wipes your device. You should see it somewhere near the bottom of the notepad. I think it's in the right hand corner right there. There it is, null fastboot minus W. Now all we want to do is remove the minus W part. So I'm just gonna hit backspace three times, get rid of the minus W and that's it. It's now no longer gonna wipe my device. Once you've done that, make sure you actually save it, otherwise it will still wipe your device. So file, save, and that's it. It's as simple as that. So what we want to do now is go over to the device and reboot into bootloader mode. If you don't have an advanced power menu, just turn the device off, then hold volume down and power key for around five seconds and you should see the bootloader screen that you can see right here. Now back over to the computer, you want to press and hold shift and right click the factory image folder and hit open command window here. You should see a screen like this. Now this is where you need the fastboot driver, so type in fastboot devices. If you don't see anything here, if you get a blank space it means the drivers aren't installed. Check out the description if you want to install those drivers. And yep, now all we have to do is type in flash hyphen all dot bat and hit enter and that's it. It's going to start writing the bootloader, the radio and the system image, all that other sort of stuff, but it's not going to wipe your data. So this is the moment of truth guys, I'll skip through this and hopefully by the time the device turns back on we'll have Android 4.4.4 but still all my apps, all my data, all my home screens. It should take around a minute and a half to flash this all, so yeah. And it's done, it took around 80 seconds, so not too long, the device is booting back up. Don't forget you won't have root or a custom recovery when this boots back up, so you will have to go back into fast boot, flash your custom recovery, and then flash the Super SU zip to get root back. So that's it for the computer part of this, so we'll focus on the device now. Don't forget it always takes a little bit longer to boot after flashing a new Android version. You should see an Android is upgrading sign. Again, this may take anywhere from one to five minutes, so just be patient. So we've booted back up, I'll put in my passcode and so far it looks like everything is still here, my widgets are still here. It's all exactly how I left it, we'll check the app drawer, everything is still installed. Now if we go ahead and check the Android version, we should see that it's Android 4.4.4. So let's go into About Phone, and yep, there it is, Android 4.4.4. Now to reinstall the exposed framework, I will need root, which I currently don't have, so I can't show you it right now. But once you have root, it's as simple as just going into the exposed framework and hitting install. All your modules will then activate and it will still have all the settings you had before. So yeah, there you go guys, that's how you use the factory image without losing all your apps and settings. Peace out.